how close at hand do you have the information you need to complete a task? I'm David Stjernholm and you're listening to Done. Today, let's talk about a way to get your recurring tasks done even more easily. But first, have you seen that the popular to-do list app Todoist has launched an AI assistant within the app? It can suggest things you can do to reach a certain goal, it can help you come up with ways to solve a complicated task, and it can break down large tasks into smaller ones, and much more. I wrote a few lines about the new service on the Structure blog. You'll find a link in the show notes. The benefits of having a digital to-do list are many. You can make tasks automatically recurring, have the list show only what you're interested in at any given moment, quickly reorder the list to your liking almost effortlessly, and much more. But, of course, digital lists also have their limitations. For example, there's only so much space to store the information you might need to complete the task. One possible solution to this lies in the notebox most list apps have available for every task. Instead of saving all the information you might need in the relevant tasks on the list, you can link to anything you need to do in the notebox. This could, for instance, be the notes from the meeting where the task came up and you were put in charge of it, a document with the standard text you'll use when sending something as part of the task, a handful of images you'll use during the execution of the task, a guide describing how to do what you're going to do. If the task is recurring, you can load it with everything you need every time you do it, every month, for example. Then it'll feel like sitting down at the set table when the time comes to do the task again. Everything is prepared. You can get straight to work. Do this. If you could use adding links to additional information in your to-do tasks more than you do today, take a moment to investigate what possibilities you have in the tool you use. For example, if you work in Microsoft 365, you can copy a link to a sheet in OneNote, which you then paste into the note for a task in Microsoft To-Do or Outlook Tasks, and to a document in OneDrive. In both Microsoft To-Do and Outlook Tasks, you can attach a document. Still, I recommend that you link to it instead, so that you don't unknowingly create multiple versions of the same document in different places which can easily confuse you regarding which version is the current one. If you use the Things app like me, a link to a document is automatically pasted when you drag it to a task and drop it there. Because the more you link to the information you need to complete the task, the easier it is to get the task done. You don't have to waste time looking for things you knew exactly where they were earlier. Everything you need is just a click away and easily accessible. Could it be better? What information do you link to in your tasks to make your work easier? Tell me. I want to simplify every aspect of my work, so I'm curious to know what tricks you have. Write to me at david at stjernholm.com. Thank you for listening to this edition of Done, and welcome back next week.